Now, this might be a, a little creepy video, but there are microbes actually living in your mattress. So that's the topic for today. So I'm just trying to increase your awareness because a lot of people have no idea what's going on in their mattresses, the place that they spend one third of their life sleeping. So let's first talk about dust mites. Okay, what are dust mites? Well, there are small, tiny, tiny little microorganisms that um, thrive in your mattress. They thrive in your pillow. So at any one time, you might have uh, 10 million of them living in your mattress. And they don't bite you, okay? They just live on your dead skin cells. And an average person will shed over a million pieces of little dead skin particles every single day. And so these dust mites have plenty to eat. The male dust mite uh, lives for about 10 to 19 days, but a female will live about 70 days and produce over 100 eggs. And it really depends on the moisture. So if your bathroom is attached to your uh, bedroom and you take a shower and you leave the door open and you have all this moisture in there, or it's the summertime and you leave the window open, it's very, very humid that can really um, allow these dust mites to thrive. So it may be a good idea to limit that. And you might even want to get a dehumidifier. But with dust mites, you are the food. And the big problem is the allergies. People are sensitive to them and they'll, have, they'll wake up congested. They might have red eyes. They might start sneezing. But don't worry, at the end, I'm going to tell you what to do about all this. All right, number two, bed bugs, okay? You don't want to let the bed bugs bite you because they do bite you. The size of a bed bug is about the size of an apple seed, and they can't fly, but they can run pretty quickly on the floor, on the ceiling, uh, so they're pretty fast little critters. And in one study, they found that uh, they counted how many of these bed bugs were in a mattress, and they found 2,000. So there's quite a few of them that could be living in your bed, and they bite you while you're sleeping. And um, they have this little tube that they can inject into you for about three to 10 minutes, and they live on your blood. And so if you wake up with a little um, itchy red bump, it could be a bed bug. All right, now let's get to the next topic, uh, fungus and bacteria. But I apologize in advance, I'm gonna gross you out a little bit, but an average adult sweats 26 gallons in their bed every single year. I mean, that is a crazy amount of sweat coming out of your body. And that breeds an environment for fungus and bacteria, unfortunately. Uh, there was a recent lab test done on seven-year-old mattresses, and they found 16 million colony units of bacteria per inch. Okay, so there's a lot of microbes living in your mattress. And this could affect you by waking up with a stuffy nose, um, waking up sneezing, red itchy eyes. And then number four, we have this thing called pet dander. Over 50% of pet owners actually share their bed with their pet. And of course, pets bring in all sorts of things into the bed. It's, it's a common source for things like fleas and ticks. So you may want to consider potentially having a pet-free zone in your bed and maybe having them sleep on the floor or in another room. All right. And number five, chemicals. When your body heats up when you're sleeping in the mattress, there are certain chemicals that get released. They're called volatile organic compounds. You have an increased release of formaldehyde and many other chemicals that can be released. And not to mention all the new chemicals that can occur with a new mattress. So what are we going to do about this? Well, number one, regular washing of your bedding and your sheets with very hot water. I would also add some baking soda in there because baking soda will kill microbes. And the next thing I would do is I would try to reduce humidity as much as you can. Keep your bathroom shut, maybe keep the windows closed if it's, too, if it's hot outside, or just have a dehumidifier going on in your room. Avoid pet exposure if you have a problem with some of these issues. Get a good air purifier because if there's chemicals that are released from the bed and you have allergies, um, that can greatly help you. Add the baking soda to the wash, which I already mentioned. And number six, vacuum your mattress on a regular basis because um, things accumulate because you want to keep the microbial population uh, at a minimum. So I'm sorry I grossed you out on this video. So the next video that I think you should watch is on growing certain plants in your room 
to increase more oxygen so you can sleep better. I put it up right here. Check it out. 